Dardar stands for Dartmouth and Dar es Salaam, the first three letters of each. And it mimics the word in Kiswahili for sister, Dada. So Dardar is a collaborative arrangement between the main medical school in Tanzania, Muhimbili, and Dartmouth Medical School and Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center. We started work on this particular vaccine in the mid-1990s. It had been developed in England. We thought that it probably had a role in preventing a certain type of infection in AIDS. And so we started studies here in the United States with collaborators here and in Boston, showed that it was safe in people who were healthy, and then we went on to show it was safe in people with HIV. This is an important development because the leading causes of death in most of the developing world are HIV, tuberculosis, malaria, and childhood diarrhea. So th this is really the focus of a lot of international health effort. For TB, there are 40 new vaccine candidates being studied. There is a current TB vaccine, but it's not effective very long after it's given in childhood, and it's not effective in HIV. So we really wanted to focus on TB, start out as quickly as we could because TB is the leading cause of death from HIV in the developing world and try to work with a product that would be safe in HIV and would also be potent enough to produce an immune response and prevent TB in that group by 39 percent. Vaccine development is a complicated process. What will have to happen next, now that it's been shown that the vaccine's effective, is that a method of production will have to be developed that can be used to make millions of doses. That process, uh, if it's successful over the next year or so, will then produce vaccine that can be used for some other trials to do the final work that's required to get the vaccine licensed and distributed. We've helped build infrastructure. We built two facilities for the trials that are conducted there, started the pediatric treatment program, um, and have trained a number of people here. So it's a true partnership. We have people going back and forth. We learn from our Tanzanian colleagues. They come here and learn skills that may not be available in Tanzania. So it's mutually beneficial. <laughs>